What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris the Chaos Gamer, and welcome back to UPL, the United PokerTubers League. I am your coach for the St. John Sharpedos. And today, we are playing against Marco of the Bayside Crobats. If you want to know what team I'm running this week, be sure to check right below right below my face so that then you guys can see what Pokemon I am running what moves are running and what held items that they have now to the battle itself we got Pinsir, Mega Pinsir, Jirachi, Magneton, Landris, Cryogonal I figured he was gonna bring Cryogonal because Cryogonal has because my team has a ton of weaknesses to ice so I figured he was going to bring Cryogonal and Hydreigon. Alright, let's start with... Um, do I bring out the big guns first? He has a, he, Actually, he did bring a, a few re resistances to uh, weaknesses to fire. So let's, let's start off with Terminator. Hydreigon. Alright. Um... Possible. Okay, so he will have Levitate. Um, I could Drake or Meteor. I could Shell Smash. You know what? Let's Shell Smash. Because I do have the White Herb. It's either that or he's going to switch. I think... Because he doesn't really have U-Turn. Okay, that's fine. U-turn is perfectly fine. Because he, he does have a, he did bring a lot of resist or uh, weaknesses to fire, so I could flamethrower everything. And the white herb activates. Cool. <sighs> Ground flying. You know what? Let's start. start let's just press that big red button. See how much we're going to do. Because the worst thing is that he already has the special attack. Down goes Landorus. I was actually a little bit scared for Landorus, honestly. Okay, he just told me in the chat that he that he went to switch. Okay, that's weird. I could Draco Meteor again. Um. Yeah, let's push the big red button again. There we go. Yeah. Don't dark. I could bring out Executor and go with a Dragon Hammer. Um, or main lies it's we. Okay. Um. I'm thinking Hidden Power Fighting. Um, or... Or... Go into... Shadow Ball Ghost. Um, Espeon is no good here at all. I, you know what? Rotom. I'm gonna go Rotom. Actually... I had a long time to log in. Well. Okay. 
I could go Hidden Power. Hidden Power Fighting. Because he did bring in almost everything that can be weak to fighting. Let's go Hidden Power Fighting. I don't... He could switch so that he could keep his special attack. He withdraws to Magneton. There we go. Hidden Power Fighting, 43%. Okay. Um... At this point... Um... I could go into Espeon. <sighs> um, I'm not sure what his... Because he can't touch me with Nepic, with Quagsire. He can't touch me with Quagsire, at least with Electric type. So if I can go into him and probably rock slide. There's a toxic. Okay. His speed is 130 to 262. So unless he invested any type of speed on him, I'll be faster. Or or because he's electric steel, I can earthquake. Let's do it. It should kill because it is life orb. Unless he sweats it out to high dry again. How did I know? Okay. Um at this point. Uh, what can he do? That's the question. What can he do to me? Unless he uses a Draco Meteor again. And if that's the case, I'm better off sending out... Probably Rotom. Or even... Let's send out, because I say he's going to press his big red button again. And then I can Aura Sphere, unless he, even if he switches, that they'll be fine. Because even with Assault Vest, my special, there's the U-turn. I thought he was going to press it. I honestly thought he was going to press his big red button. That's fine, that's perfect actually. For cryogonal, I can flamethrower, or I can or sphere. I have a feeling. I don't know what he can do here. Uh, let's go flamethrower. I have a feeling that he might be... He's definitely faster, but the question is, is he freeze-dry? Oh, flamethrower? Okay. Oh, I burned him. Oh, thank god. Okay. Um... Cryogonal restored a little HP due to leftovers. I'm gonna go to Espeon, and I'm gonna trick. No. Um... I think Cryogonal is mostly... There's the freeze dry again. I have a couple options. I 
second trick. So that I can get his leftovers. Because I know he's not choice, because he has leftovers. Um... Let's Psychic, see what he's going to do. I think he's... There's the Magneton. There's the Psychic. Okay. Because of that, now let's go into Nepic again. Let's go to Quagsire. Because there isn't really much Magneton can do to Quagsire. It goes back, it goes into Hydra again. My dragon is definitely going to be faster, without a doubt. Okay. Um. Let's go into Rotom, HP fight, and let's go HP. F There's the U-turn. Okay. What is he going to go into? Probably Magneton again. That is, that is fine, because Hidden Power Fighting. That should take him out. It should, I hope. That's High Dragon. Hidden Power Fighting. Super Effective 41. There we go. Does that mean that... That High Dragon must be... Um... Choice. Let's hit and power. <sighs> Was not expecting the critical hit there. Okay. <sighs> He's probably gonna switch. Um. Do I have anybody who's fast? Yes. Let's go in Espeon. We can Dazzling Gleam it. Now. Or. Chances are he's going to switch. So let's go Psychic. I think he's going to switch back into Magneton. Yep. Takes the Psychic. Magneton goes down. <sighs> the High Dragon's probably going to come back out again. Either that or Cryogonal. Jirachi. We do have something for Jirachi. We have Aura Sphere on Togeki. Oh, I wasn't expecting the Iron Head. Okay, that was a bad decision. Um. Going to coconut. Let's go into coconut um, or our good old ex Alolan Executor. There's the Iron Head. Now. We can Dragon. No, Dragon Hammer's not going to do anything. Chances are. Let's Flamethrower. Toxic, that's fine. Flamethrower, 47%. Okay. Toxic. I need to crit here. There's the wish, flamethrower. No.
his wish is going to come true. Ironhead did 25. Let's go with another flamethrower. Protect. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Alright. There's the citrus berry. Flamethrower. He's just going to spam that, is he? <sighs> you know what? That's not even fair. The fact that he's just spamming that. Because it's at the point that there's nothing I can do. Because he's going to protect. Put Quagsire in. There's a protect. He's probably gonna do the same goddamn thing again. Um Let's go with a waterfall. There's the waterfall killed. Okay. There goes Cryogonal. Pincer. He's gonna he's gonna become Mega. When he, when he becomes Mega. Let's do waterfall again. He's going to Mega. Well, he has to. Sword Stance. Let's go back into Togekiss. Because now he's bug flying. Let's go into a low limit executor. We can flamethrower it. And let's flamethrower it. That Jirachi is going to be a pain in friggin' ass. I know it is. Toxic Wish protects Stall. Yeah. Three thirty-nine speed. Shadow Ball. Let's go. I don't have this. There's no way I can win at this point now. There's quick attack, seriously. That Jirachi is a There's nothing I can do. <sighs> you know what? I should have recovered. Now that I think about it. 
that Hydrion is gonna go first, gonna take me out, so there, there's nothing I can do. Good game to Marco. That puts us at one win, four losses. Good game to Marco. And I'll see you guys. I'll I'll see you guys next week. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and if you if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button like you never clicked before, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And if you're watching this over on Vidme, be sure to hit that upvote button and follow once again for more videos. I've been Chris the Chaos Gamer, and I will see you in the next video.